A rainy day in York. Intermediate English story. It was a cold, miserable day in York. The rain was bashing against the window and everything was gloomy and dull. People always think that all it does in the UK is rain. Well, today they'd be right. Sam missed blue skies and feeling the sun on his skin. He was so over winter. Sam sat on his windowsill, looking out of the window. He was worried that if the rain carried on, the river might flood again. Sam sighed. What could he do to make this boring, rainy day a little better? He was fed up of playing computer games. He didn't want to cook, and he had read all of his good books. He knew he should probably spend some more time learning German, but he really couldn't be bothered. Sam was applying for jobs to be a software engineer in Germany. He knew the weather wasn't that different from the UK, but he heard that the summers were amazing. Sam would really miss living in the UK, but he felt like he needed a new challenge and learning German was certainly a challenge. He decided that he would spend one hour a day taking German classes online. And when he watched Netflix, he would set the subtitles to German to help him learn. The only problem was the German subtitles made him sleepy, so he often fell asleep on the sofa halfway through an episode. Sam was very hard working. He just finished university and knew that if he didn't get a job soon, he'd have to move back in with his parents. Sam was a mature student when he went to university. He took a few years out after college to earn some cash. At the time, he felt a little left out when all his friends were going to parties, but now he's glad he did it. Sam was getting interviews for almost every job he applied for, all because he had taken a few years out and got some work experience. He'd even been offered a job in London, but decided to turn it down because he didn't like the idea of getting the tube every day. As the rain trickled against the window, Sam thought about what his life in London might have been like. He imagined parties, an amazing flat overlooking the River Thames and a bursting bank account. The reality, he knew, would be very different. He didn't know anyone in London and, looking at the accommodation, he would only be able to afford a flat the size of a postage stamp. That's why Sam loved York so much. He had a lovely flat that overlooked the River Ouse and he could walk everywhere. No need to get the tube every day. He decided to move to York to study. He never thought he would leave, but now all of his university friends weren't there anymore. He felt a little lonely. Sam also felt like it was time for a new adventure. Maybe Germany could be it. He would miss England though. He loved English food and he adored the Yorkshire folk. They were so friendly and always willing to help. What if it wasn't the same in Germany? Sam decided that he needed some fresh air. He got out his raincoat, put on his big leather boots 
and headed outside. York was usually full of tourists, but today, because of the rainy weather, it was empty. Sam loved it. He could walk down the winding streets without having to move for photos or groups of people. He could stop and enjoy the beautiful architecture without people asking him to take their photo. He even went to his favourite takeaway and didn't have to queue for ages to get his food. Maybe I should come out in the rain more often, Sam said to the takeaway owner. Sam decided to walk along the River Ouse back to his flat. He enjoyed watching the boats sail by. There was something very relaxing about it. All this bad weather got him thinking. Should he really leave this beautiful city and its friendly inhabitants? Sure, he was a little lonely without his university friends, but he would be even lonelier in Germany, where he didn't even speak the language. Sam had a lot to think about. As he got home and turned the key in the door, he heard the familiar ping of his mobile phone. It was telling him that he had an email. He shook the water off his coat, took off his muddy shoes and made himself a lovely cup of Yorkshire tea. As he sat down to enjoy his drink, he opened his emails. He had two one was from a company in Germany, and the other was from York University. Sam was confused. He hadn't applied for a job at the university. What did they want? He walked over to the window and sat on the windowsill again. He liked to look out over the city as he played on his phone. Sam opened the email from the German company first. He felt disappointed. They had decided not to pursue his application any further. They said he didn't have the experience they wanted. Oh well, he said. Not meant to be this time, I suppose. He then opened the email from York University. He was a little confused at first. It was an email from a lecturer asking if he would be interested in doing some research for a future project. The course lecturers had been so impressed with Sam's dissertation that they wanted him to stay on at the university and continue his research. He couldn't believe what he was reading. He got halfway through the email when his phone started to ring. It was his friend, Akbar. Hey, Akbar, what's happening? Akbar went on to explain that he had also received the email and that if Sam decided to take on the research role, they would be working together. Sam was shocked. He hadn't got to the part of the email where it mentioned Akbar. They hung up and he continued reading. Sam sat back and looked out of the rain-smeared window. He was pleased with the offer. The wage would be okay to live on for a while and the experience would be great for his CV. But he had visions of moving abroad, learning another language, and working at some cool international startup. He decided to call his lecturer and speak to her 
about the research role. They ended up talking for almost an hour. After the call, Sam decided to head out into the rain again and wash off all his thoughts. Sam did a loop around York City Centre. He went down the shambles and around to the Minster. The city was beautiful, even in terrible weather. Now he knew that Akbar was going to be coming back to the city, he felt happier. He wouldn't be alone anymore. Sam could continue to learn German. And if he decided to move after the research job contract was finished, he could. After all, sometimes it's better the devil you know. The rain had really helped to clear Sam's mind. Now he knew what he wanted to do. When he got back to the flat, and dried off. He sat back on his favourite windowsill, looked out at the rain and called his university lecturer. Sam knew he wouldn't be saying goodbye to his favourite river view or the rainy weather for a while. Sometimes we just have to be patient and the right thing will come along. We hope you enjoyed this intermediate English story. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.